And welcome to today's My Math presentation. Today's presentation, the My Math. Be using the review pages that begin on 783 in our packets. And the opening page is a vocabulary check. And I'm going to just turn the answers on and run over these with you. Um, as we go through the packet, there will be some instances where you'll do problems in, some instances where I'll do a problem, and then we'll go over the answers. So let's go ahead and go through the vocabulary, which is always important. Number one across the result of a division problem. That is the quotient. Remember, products are for multiplication, quotients for division. Number two across the number that divides the dividend. Divisor. That's the outside number there. Number three across a number that is being divided. Dividend. That's the number that's inside when we're doing the standard algorithm. Number four across the process of resizing a number when you multiply by a fraction that is greater than or less than one and that is scaling. Number five across operations that undo each other such as multiplication and division or addition and subtraction inverse operations. Six down a fraction with a numerator of one is in unit fraction, so one half, one third, one ninth, one billionth. Number seven down, a number that has a whole number part and a fraction part, and that is a mixed number. And number eight, a number that represents part of a whole or part of a set, that's a fraction. Let's go through some of these problems here. I know you just saw a glimpse, but that's all right. So estimate each product, draw a bar diagram if necessary. So you don't have to. I may model it just to, on my end, but you won't have to. So I'm gonna do three fourths times 23, but I'm estimating. So I wanna change this digit, this number to something that four will go into equally. And I picked four because it's the denominator there. So my multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. So I'm gonna go three fourths times 24. And remember we multiply that as 24 over one. Not that we'll need it here. So our bar diagram would have 24 up here. We draw our bar. There's four sections, one, two, three, and four. So how many goes in each section? What digit will I put here? Well, 24 divided by four is six. So each section will have a six. And then I'm taking three of those sections. So those three right here, six times three is 18. Without doing the bar diagram, I could go 24 divided by four is six times three, 18. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and do number 10. I will clear my screen. When I ask you to do a problem, I recommend that you pause the video, solve the problem, and then unpause the video to check your answer. So one fifth times 22. So remember you're gonna to need to take your, turn your 22 into something else. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. I'm gonna change this to one fifth times 20. 22 is closer to 20 than it is to 25. 20 divided by five is four. And four times one is four. So our answer is four. If you what if you turn this to 25, you probably had a five. Or you should have. 
All right, next one. I'll do number 11 and 13, and you will end up doing 12 and 14. Actually, I'm going to do 11, 13, and 15, and you'll do 12 and 14 and 16. All right, so multiply right in simplest form. Whenever you have a whole number, you turn it over one. So I get 20, one times 21, which is 21. Three times one is three. And how many times is three 20 going to 21? Seven. Over here, one times three is three. Five times eight is 40. And there is nothing that I can do to make that simpler. 340 is the answer. Now for this one, remember we turn this into an improper fraction by multiplying the denominator times the whole number and then adding the numerator. So three times four is 12 plus one is 13 over four times three fifths. 13 times three is 39. Four times five is 20. I can simplify that further because 20 goes into 39 once and there's a remainder of 19 over 20. And at that point, I'm simplified. So one and 19 twentieths. Just a reminder to make an improper, a mixed number an improper fraction, multiply four times three plus the one numerator, denominator times whole number plus numerator. When we're multiplying, we're multiplying across the top and across the bottom and then simplify. And a whole number into a fraction, you're gonna go ahead and just put it over one. I'm gonna ask you to do numbers 12, 14, and 16. Remember to pause the video, unpause it when you're ready. You may pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. 26 over one, so 26 over two would be 13. One times seven is seven, two times eight is 16. Nine eighths times 11 thirds. I'm gonna bring up the annotation tool for here. So we had nine eighths times 11 thirds. Gives us 99 twenty fourths. 24 goes into 99 four times, and the remainder is three. How do I know that? Because if it was 25 times four, it'd be 100. So one group of four less is gonna be 96. So I have a remainder of three with over 24, but 24 is a multiple of three, so we divide it top and bottom by three and get four and one eighth. Find each quotient, check your using um, multiplication. And in all honesty, um, it's something you should be doing in your head normally. You gotta give you an idea, but this is something you can do to check and make sure. So two divided by one sixth. How many times will one sixth go into two? Two, three, four, five, six, twelve. And a way to do it. Another way to do this, if you want to be quick, is the KFC method, where I could have gone two times six, and there's ones under both, so that washes out. Twelve over one is twelve. So I check my work. Twelve times one is twelve. One times six is six, 12, six is two. Go ahead and do number 18. Give me pause video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So you divided each of these three sections into five. 
So that's what we had to do there. And then you count them up here 15 and there you go. And then from there, you check your work. One fifth times five over one is five fifteenths or one third. One fifteenth. All right. If you have further questions, please reach out. Um, our assessment will be in our next class period. Um, if you're stuck and looking for things and you don't have an opportunity to send a message to me, you may look up specific things using resources such as Khan Academy, or you could even Google it. Um, Khan Academy is one I recommend because I have a fairly decent comfort level with the content. Whereas if you just go random YouTube, you might get something that's a little bit sketchy. Well, hope you all have been a good. Meanwhile, bye my pee.